Okay, B day. Uh, it's a Tabata again, but four different exercises. You again uh, show up and do 400 jump ropes to warm yourself up, do them quick. Um, you're again going to be able to use your music to be able to get you through the 16 uh, minutes. So it's four, 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 and four. We'll move after the 400 jump ropes. You can start your watch here and you end your watch here with um, timing how long it takes you to do just these exercises with no jump roping in between. All right, so we'll move and show you the first exercise. Okay, the first exercise is modified burpees. We're taking the push up out of the burpee. I want as many burpees within the 20 seconds as we can. Okay, so if I start these guys, ready, set, go. What they're going to do is just do a burpee without the push up part. Do as many as they can, jump as high as they can, do as many as they can in 20 seconds concentrating on their form and trying to get four on the floor together. Uh, all four on the floor, five seconds left. Three, two, one, time. They would rest for 10 seconds. They're gonna wait, walk around, shake it out, whatever they need to do. And three, two, one, go. So they're gonna do as many more burpees as they can. Again, um, not doing the push up in between. I am worried about form and want to make sure you keep your form as much as you can. This is all about speed and heart rate, but also form. Five seconds, three, two, one, time. And so at the end of that, they would have six more sets like that to go. I'm guessing you could get at least seven to ten of these in in 20 seconds each time. Your goal is to get as many more each set as you can throughout the summer, but also to keep going for those 20 seconds and use your 10 seconds to rest. Okay, the second one is hip raises. A little bit different from what you've been doing before. This is your hamstring exercise, core exercise. Um, I'm going to start them and explain as we go. Ready, set, go. So they're going to um, raise their hips and touch their fingers underneath and then lower their hips almost to the ground as many times as they can in that 20 seconds. Um, they're going to try to keep a plank body five seconds. Three, two, one, time. They can put their butt down, rest, relax. They've got 10 seconds to rest. They want to keep their legs straight. Three, two, one, go. All your power is coming from your hamstrings and your hips. You're trying to be straight as a board when you're up and almost touching when you're down. It looks like it's easy, but it's not. Um, they're going to do as many again as they can in this time without worrying about a number to reach. Three, two, one, time. So they've got 10 seconds to rest before they start their second minute, and then they would go around again, again, and again until they got to four, four minutes. Again, the form is important here, and this is kind of an evening out exercise from all the pushing exercises we had the first day. This is more of your pulling muscles, your hamstrings, which is very important, and your core from, a, from kind of the back angle, all right? So we'll move on to the third one. All right, third exercise is T-rotations. It's a core exercise, but also shoulders and some, um, some, some back muscles and that sort of thing as well. But what we're trying to do here, they go ahead and start. Ready, set, go. They're going to be in push-up position. They are going to open into a T shape to each side, as many as they can in 20 seconds, keeping a plank body, plank body. Their feet, if you notice, can go side by side. Three, two, one, time. So then they can rest, shake it out, do whatever they need to do, get as many as they can in these next 20 seconds. Ready, set, three, two, one, Go, again, as straight a plank body as you can get. Try not to have a lot of bend to it. Don't have your butt in the air, don't sag either. You can use your feet to rotate like that so you can keep your balance. And open all the way out, open your shoulders. Look straight ahead. Two, one, time. They would rest again. They would get as many as they can. Three more times through, three more minutes through, six more sets through. At the end of that, their watch keeps going, but you can stop the music, as I said last time, and start your fourth set when you're ready. All right, last one is pull planks. And again, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight times through. If you watch them, ready, set, go. 
So what they're doing is they're in plank position. Their body will move quite a bit now, but they're going to try to keep as much of a rigid plank as they can. And they're pulling any object, a shoe, a water bottle, your keys, um, a slipper, a book, whatever you want to pull back and forth, you can. They're going to do that as much as they can. Ready, stop. So then they'll rest for 10 seconds. As soon as the music starts up again, they'll be ready to go. Three, two, one, go. Again, they'll pull. If you notice, they're pulling across their body, not pushing. They're pulling out to the side each time, as many as they can, and keeping their body as rigid as they can. Plank body. Feet can be wider if you want to give yourself a, a more stable base. Two, one, time. And they would, at the end of that, be done with their first minute. You know what? Okay, one thing I forgot about the, the B-Day, um, and it's on your workout sheet this way, but in addition to starting your watch here and ending it here, one thing I want to do with the pull planks is have you work toward, rather than doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off per minute, is I'd like you to go 50 seconds on through the first rest period and take the second rest period of every full minute. So it would be 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four times through for four minutes, okay? Work your way to that as soon as you can, because when you come here and do planks, it'll be for longer than 20 seconds at a time. So you'll work your way to that. Okay, then stop your watch at the end, and we'll move on now to box-to-box -box sprints. Okay, box-to-box -box sprints are exactly what you've been doing even in the last phase, but we'll start on 16, because the last one you did of phase two was 15 of these. If you remember, the girls are going 50 yards out, 50 yards back. The boys are going 60 yards out, 60 yards back, within a recovery jog of half that. Ready? So ready, set, go. They would sprint, sprint, and then jog slow, or however fast they want back. And it would start at the top of the next minute. So they'd be resting, resting, resting. As soon as the top of the next minute comes around, go. They would sprint as fast as they can, 50 and 60, 50 and 60, and jog easy the way back. For 16 of these on the very first B-Day workout. So box to box, as we just said, same as in phase two, but you start with 16 on that first Wednesday, the 15th of July. So by the time we're done, You'll, do, you'll be doing 20 of these on the 3rd of August and the 5th of August right before you come. And just remember that you are trying to, this is going to be kind of a cornerstone of what we do. Um, we'll change the distances, we'll change the way we sprint, but sprint work is essential for a soccer player. So make sure you have this down more than almost anything else that you do.